We've been talking a lot about operational or SCADA data that is needed for the daily monitoring and operation of the power system. But there's a whole other class of reports and information that come from the IEDs and relays in the substation that's just as important or more important in some cases, and that's the event reports and logs that are created and stored in our relays. We've had event reports in every relay we've ever made. With the RTAC in the substation, you can configure the RTAC that it will watch for new event reports in every relay it's connected to, and if it sees a new one, it will collect and automatically store locally in static memory, non-volatile memory, it will store that event report. Then it will further allow the customer to upload those event reports back to a central server through our SEL team software. Having the RTAC sit in the substation, do the work with regards to collecting that event, and then notifying the team server, maybe at the corporate side, really gives the end users a lot of extensibility when it comes to verifying that those events have been collected. In conjunction with the event collection that team already does, last year we released collection of profile data. And this can include anything from power quality data to revenue data that our meters are able to provide. This profile data is not only collected, but we present the data in a nice, easy spreadsheet, allowing users to really customize the reports that they need, how they need them, when they need them. It not only collects event reports, but it'll collect reports about the apparatus, breaker reports, transformer reports, sequential event record reports, so we know what happened in the substation and in what order, any number of reports. Teams Viewer allows an, an end user to create what we call a system incident. Now these system incidents go beyond just the individual events per say a specific 421 or a specific feeder out in the, in the substation. These system incidents allow you to create basically or bring in all of the extra data that might have been applicable to that event happening on a system. This can include anything from a tornado um, to maybe just a general outage that's happened. So system incidents lets a user go back in time categorize these events up, bring them all together, and then from an auditing standpoint, it's, it's a nice way to be able to sit there and say, look, this is what happened on, say, July 1st, 2010, and, and this is a, these are the events that were associated with that. Another thing that, that's recently been worked on is team has a, a very nice way of defining jobs within a system, and these jobs can be anything from collecting the event files or the com trade files all the way up to collecting load profile data from our Schweitzer meters. And then once these jobs have been defined, assignment can be anywhere from an individual device in the connection directory all the way up to assigning an entire region to go out and collect events every five minutes or every week or every month. And this is all built into that configuration software with the end user in mind. I think it's an incredibly exciting time to be part of the power system community. Every day we come to work looking to invent, design, and manufacture the best products and solutions to make the power system work in a more economical and reliable way.